Welcome, uh, friends. Today we have Dr. Nitaya Panu Park. We all know she's a noted HIV uh, medical expert and leader on the governing council from Asia uh, Pacific of uh, International AIDS Society and executive director of IHRI, the Institute of HIV Research and, uh, and Innovation. So, uh, Dr. Nitaya, welcome. Thank you very Thank much, you. Bobby. Very nice seeing you again. Thank you. Uh, so, Dr. Nitaya, uh, we all know and we have all have appreciated Thailand for uh, taking leadership on uh, universal health coverage, for example, USC, as well as uh, PrEP rollout, because when PrEP was U approved by US FDA 11 years ago, I think in 2012, um, Thailand is one of those countries which showed how community-led interventions are so critical and central in reaching out to uh, in rolling out PrEP, but also making sure that PrEP is reaching uh, people who really need it and who are often missed out by uh, usual routine services like key populations. And you have been, um, uh, you know, played such a key role, pivotal role in uh, Thailand, uh, working with communities I, as a, uh, at providing technical support from IHRI. So, uh, so recently, I uh, was very uh, sad to hear that, um, to read in the news that the PrEP, uh, th there have been some policy change in Thailand uh, in December, which led to uh, some disruption in the services. So please, uh, please provide us an overview. We'd like to hear mm -hmm. from you. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Bobby, for for um, like um, sending thoughts uh, and and concerns about uh, what has been happening in Thailand um, regarding prep rollout. And I I can say that I um, am um, deeply saddened uh, by the decision made uh, by the Ministry of Public Health, and and it's not um, only I myself, but the whole uh, civil society organizations and and the whole community. Uh, I I think. Um, we uh, are very frustrated and uh, not knowing uh, what uh, will happen uh, from now on. And the, the um, uh, things that has, has happened uh, over the past few uh, months is that, um, you know, um, for us in Thailand, the rolling out of PrEP um, has been uh, made uh, feasible um, through mainly the um, key population lay providers in the country. And that means that um, right now, over 80% um, of current PrEP users in our country are provided um, PrEP services by these trained um, key population lay providers in uh, various provinces in the country. And um, it has been done uh, in such a successful way because we um, have established these key population led health services, why key populations themselves uh, came to this sign the services and uh, then be uh, the one who co-deliver the services uh, within their own um, community-led clinic, right? Um, and, and this has happened in a way that um, the clinic, um, uh, these clinics um, operated uh, in a very flexible um, hours um, of the day and um, by not uh, requiring to have the medical doctors or pharmacists or um, um, any healthcare professionals within the clinic. And we are doing this through teleconsultation or telemedicine with the health professionals who can be anywhere remotely, but um, provide supervision to uh, key population lab providers within the clinic. That means that um, when the client uh, comes in the clinic, they can have um, this um, blood collection um, done uh, for the rapid HIV testing, as well as um, to uh, have the um, test results being shared to the doctor uh, remotely. And then the doctor can review um, the history and test results and then prescribe uh, PrEP bottles uh, remotely back to lab providers within the clinic. And it means that we need to have a PrEP um, stock or PrEP storage within the uh, community-led clinic to be able for lab providers to give out the first bottle of PrEP or the three to six bottles of PrEP refills to the clients almost within the same hour of the client coming into the clinic. Um, the decision made recently in December by the Ministry of Public Health um, now stated that PrEP um, stocking in KP-led clinics is not uh, um, um, uh, legal anymore. Okay, and that number two is that um, doctors uh, who uh, 
uh, can supervise um, prep provision or can uh, do prescription for um, clients in these KPLA clinics will need to be uh, doctors within the government hospitals. Okay, so there are two limitations um, occurring here because um, PrEP um, in Bangkok mainly, uh, in which we have like almost 70-80% um, of total PrEP users in the country being in Bangkok, um, will has uh, in the past been prescribed by doctors from IHRI and we are not government organization and it may seem easy to just like then just find another government hospital uh, or, or government clinic who uh, have doctors who can then um, prescribe PrEP um, to this community-based organization in um, Bangkok but it has not been easy we have tried to do so because IHRI would not want to do this role uh, because it will not uh, uh, mean that the system can actually be integrated into the um, countries of Bangkok's healthcare system, right? But it has not been successful. We have approached uh, many, so many hospitals in Bangkok, government hospitals in Bangkok, but no government hospital would want uh, to do uh, this role, to, to play this role, because um, that's, 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 that's not um, surprising, because um, to, to, to build the trust between um, healthcare providers and uh, community-led organizations we, we need to take time and, and you will have to like take the ownership um since the beginning uh, but um with the healthcare system in bangkok it has not been easy to to do that um we we, we have seen a very successful like government hospital and community-led uh, organization coming together to provide prep in other um, provinces in thailand like in chiang mai uh, we have like the the provincial hospital and the uh m plus and camat which which uh, are uh, both the community-led organizations organizations in Chiang Mai, partnering um, together to um, um, do these key population-led PrEP um, services. But again, by um, saying that KP-led organizations or KP-led clinic cannot stock PrEP anymore, that destroy the whole system of this um, same-day PrEP um, service delivery. Yeah. Thanks a lot for giving us that overview. I was following the news and I read that uh, 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 several civil society organizations, I think nine organizations met the PM and the parliament office of, of, or officials. There was a meeting held on 18 January hmm. and maybe more. So what is the progress? Uh, is uh, It's almost, I think, about, uh, going to be two months or one and a half months. So uh, hmm. I, what I understand is PrEP, the, this uh, distancing from community-led organizations uh, has must have stopped, right? Yes. yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, that that's a uh, very correct, um, Bobby. Because we, as IHRI, we decided together with um the Swing um Foundation and the Rainbow Sky Association of Thailand, who are the main uh prep providers um in Bangkok, that uh, we will need to stop um allowing the um community led organizations to stock prep because it will uh, be considered illegal, and and we uh don't think that we will be able to handle. Uh, if there is any um, uh, measures um, enforced um, towards uh, our organizations altogether, um, so 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 that um, caused the disruption of prep services um, in Bangkok and um, the. Um, uh, Ministry of Public Health, um, led by the Department of Disease Control, um, asked uh, to have a meeting with the community-led organizations uh, to discuss uh, if this can be uh, sorted out. And our recommendations uh, to the Department of Disease Control um, is that um, we will need to have something official uh, from the Ministry of Public Health um, endorsing the roles of key population-led providers to um, provide PrEP uh, under supervision and uh, with prescription made by doctor um, from any organizations. Uh, so we have like private doctor, we have um, government doctor, and we have NGO doctors, right? And we at AHI would consider ourselves NGO doctors because we are not private and we are not government, right? And so you, uh, there's no reason uh, why this um, role should be limited only to government um, um, doctors. And that's, that's number one. Number two is that we will also need that official document to um, state that um, PrEP stock stocking uh, is allowed at um, key population-led clinics because um, the, the um, over the past um, 
three years, uh, we have been working with the National Health Security Office um, to um, make sure that key population led clinic is recognized by the country's healthcare system as one of the um, healthcare facility. And it has been successful. We are ready to receive like reimbursement costs from the National Health Security Office, but um, somehow it is not recognized um, um, like by text um, by the Ministry of Public Health. And, and that caused a concern because um, uh, uh, it seems to um, be against the regulations that um, stocking of any medications can only be made at healthcare facility. Okay, so so that's number two, um, and and um, um, we we think that um, by uh, having something official um, saying that would be uh, a long term solution uh, for everything here because. Uh, I, I think like uh, most of us uh, uh, who are civil society organizations uh, have been very frustrated because like last month we just have the PCB meeting um, in Chiang Mai uh, and like a community led um, uh, health service uh, is one of the showcases uh, to all the UNAIDS um, participants um, over there. Um, but at the same time, like just a few days after that PCB meeting, uh, this like um, uh, regulations uh, was announced. And and so we questioned um, how um, 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 strong the the partnership between civil society organizations and the government um, is and how how sincere and how strong um, this this uh, partnership is because um, if um, it is very strong and if it is uh, very sincere then the department of disease control should be the one who back us up and not be the one who announced um, this regulation uh, which which uh, caused um, um, challenge um, in the KP led um, service delivery um, the meeting that was held um, earlier in, in uh, January um, did not um, come to that um, proposed um, recommendations of that proposed solutions. Um, however, it uh, did um, result in um, a short term solution to use global fund money to purchase um, PrEP medication and to use PEFA money to reimburse service cost um, um, at, uh, delivery, um, which we realized that it may not um, uh, be a, 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 a solution for too long because uh, we have just like the saving money is from the global fund, which may only allow um, the prep uh, used to for, for just like a few months. Um, and also like <laughs> I personally feel that the saving money is from the global fund uh, can benefit the uh, individuals living on 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 Thai soil much better than uh, to replace some um, uh, services that are already provided by the country. Okay, so 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 that's 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 um, the solution uh, made by um, the Department of Disease Control after that meeting, and um, this is seen as as an ad hoc solution. While we are waiting for the um, regulations and laws to be sorted out. Yeah. Right, right. So so as of now, the the community led interventions are still not functioning. Right? Do I understand correctly? Yeah. Yeah. So um, over the past two weeks, um, Swing and Rainbow Sky uh, Association of Thailand um, have resumed um, the services using this um, PrEP uh, medication from the Global Fund. And, and we hope that uh, the reimbursement of the service costs can uh, come from um, the uh, PEPFA uh, money. Um, but um, by talking to uh, Kun Surang, who is the director of Swing, um, I, I mean, I think we we realized that this is just a short term solution, and they are really frustrated uh, on whether or not they will need to announce the disruption of the service um, soon uh, if um, there there is no long term solution um, allowing them to do so, and if there uh, is no additional uh, funding coming into the global fund or to the uh, PEFA to to allow them to continue the services um so so that's 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 the the um short-term solution um which you know bobby this is just one of the um 
um, main um, challenge that we have been facing um, since um, December. I mean, the 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 announcement of the regulations uh, from the Ministry of Public Health not allowing um, prep and stocking at the KP led clinic, uh, as well as uh, not allowing um, non government doctors to to do the prescription role. But at the same time. All of us are facing. Uh, I I I would call this like a larger or or, or, or higher uh, level um challenge of um the country not allowing um the use of NHSO fund uh to uh provide promotion and prevention services to all thai citizens anymore and only limit um these um services to those who are um insured under the national health security office program which 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 is just not every um thai individuals um um and and that has caused like ad additional um challenge uh, for all of us because um in the past like hiv testing in thailand um every Thai citizen can access free HIV testing twice a year um, and um, at any hospitals, you know. So so that's that's like the main um, or, or the key element of how we increase HIV testing rate in the country. But now, uh, if I am going to go to any hospital, I will need uh, I, I cannot access it free HIV testing anymore uh, because I'm not um, insured under the National Health Security Office program. And um, over the past uh, decade, we can see that like 30% of people accessing HIV testing every year are uh, the non-NHSO uh, clients. Okay, so so this will affect like 30%, which is like 400,000 people in the country who will not be able to access free HIV testing anymore. Okay, and the same thing is happening uh, for PrEP. Because for PrEP, um, we are lucky that um, three years ago, the National Health Security Office um, uh, committee, the board committee, um, allowed PrEP to be kind of linked to the same system as HIV testing uh, in, in a way that you don't have to like register to certain hospital to go to get PrEP. Um, it's very free freely accessible, uh, same to HIV testing, that you can just go to any hospitals in the country to get free HIV testing. Free PrEP is the same thing um, here. But right now, 60% of um, PrEP um, users right now is non-NHSO clients. So this will affect um, another like um, 8,000 of people who are on PrEP. Okay, so right now, um, the short term solution here is again to get the global fund money to support uh, free prep, but um, this this is this is not something that will last long, and I'm I'm um, really um, sad that that uh, no one is taking urgent um, um, decision to um, revert um, convert no this this um, decision made by the uh, minister of public health. Um, um, to allow um, HIV testing and PrEP, as well as PEP. PEP is the same thing. 50% of PrEP um, clients each year are non-NHSO clients. Okay, condom as well, condom lub lubricants, 30% um, of condoms um, uh, clients are non-NHSO clients. So, so these this are a, a, a larger uh, problem for um, any health promotion and health prevention services in the country. Thank you so much for articulating it so powerfully, and I really hope that Thai government, um, you know, uh, acts urgently because, as you rightly say, we cannot let HIV prevention slide. Uh, and the gains which have been made in, in um, you know, towards ending AIDS, or um, um, you know, we can lose those gains. You are so right. Uh, uh, so you mentioned eight thousand people. Uh, so eight thousand people on prep. Uh, so these are the ones. Uh, uh, eight thousand is the total number of prep prep. Um, um we we ones? yes yes um so um by numbers uh we know that um that uh could be up to forty thousand clients um um and prep clients uh, in the country I mean those who uh has ever um started prep. 
okay but the active users right now uh we um uh by by looking at um various databases we 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 know that there could be around 16000 um active prep users in the country right now and uh, to say that 60% of those uh, people um are, are non uh, nhso clients that's around um 8000 9000 um people yes uh -huh. and and the this decision is uh, made by um the minister of um public health who share an hso uh, uh board um and uh this is kind of like it's it's very strange um to to see this happen because um the nhso fund um has been used for decades uh, to provide health promotion and prevention to all Thai citizens, regardless of their health insurance schemes. And this is for like vaccination, for um, long-term care for elderly, and also for HIV um, prevention, uh, testing and prevention. So um, it, it has been uh, used, um, um, I mean, it has been uh, feasible because um, there is um, certain um, laws uh, that allow this to happen but it's just like uh, because one um, advisor to this minister of public health um, um, raised uh, his concern um, that but there is nothing saying that this is allowed you know it's, there's no um, text in the law saying that this is allowed we just assume that because of this and that written we can do this um, um so so this yes um it is in the process of having uh it legally sorted out um but i mean um if i were a minister i would say that please uh, continue the practice that we have been doing for uh, more than um, 10 years 15 years now why having the legal uh by, by having the issue uh, being legally sorted out uh instead of um um announced uh that uh, this should be stopped, must be stopped right now until um, it is legally sorted out. Yeah, so it's very sad indeed. Yes, absolutely. So um, thanks a lot for helping me understand that too. Uh, so uh, Dr. Nithaya, so you mentioned about Swing and Rainbow uh, uh, Sky, Sky. Sky Association of Thailand. So they, mm -hmm. they are, uh, so uh, are they doing it with, uh, with IHRI? Or are they working with the government doctors? Can you just help clarify that? And how long mm -hmm. um, have you been involved with PrEP rollout in Thailand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, yes, um, with the, the last two weeks that um, the clinics resumed um, PrEP services, uh, it has been, uh, I mean, the services um, has been um, um, provided in collaboration with government hospitals who are now um, <laughs> kind of officially assigned by the, the, the uh, Department of Disease Control to do this role. So it has not been um, very smooth, uh, but but it's happening, which I which I, I think that like if we are looking at uh, what is the silver lining of all these incidents, I would say that, yes, actually, um, it, it uh, provided the chance for the government hospitals to to explore how they can work with the community uh, civil society organizations which which is good um however um this is just like um we using the hospital's uh, role to um um provide the prescription um to capillate organizations but it's like we are closing one eye not knowing that um um, prep stocking at the community led organization is still happening. Um, so 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 that's why I I was asking for an official endorsement and not just like a, a short term um practice that that is like allowed and 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 uh, there's no official document to to support or endorse um this uh, even short term solution. Yes. Um, and to tell you a bit more about like how um I have been involved in this um prep um service delivery model. Um, you know, um in our country like you just mentioned uh, we are among the first countries in the region who um integrate PrEP uh, as part of HIV prevention recommendations in our national guidelines um, since October 2014. And the first year after um, 
2014, well, which means 2015, it has been very quiet. Like no one really um, know that PrEP service is already available at that time. No one um, understood wh where to access the service. And um, there's no official like um, capacity building for healthcare providers to provide PrEP. Um, so in 2016, we started um, key population led PrEP services and uh, like um, conducted this as part of the implementation um, research. Um, demonstrating that um, key population lay providers can uh, be trained um, and then provided um, high quality PrEP services with non-judgmental attitude in this stigma-free environment in the KP led clinics. Okay. Um, and, and that has started um, the rolling out of um, PrEP in the country uh, when in 2019, um, the lay, these lay providers uh, uh, were officially um, legalized um, to, to uh, play this role uh, with supervision from healthcare uh, professionals. And um, in 2019 also that the National uh, Health Security Office um, um, included um, PrEP under its um, universal health coverage scheme. Um, although in 2019, it was like uh, with, with a, a limit uh, cap to uh, 2,000 um, clients. But right now, um, uh, in 2022, we don't have any limit. Uh, we don't have any uh, uh, cap uh, for those um, clients in Thailand who would like to access PrEP. So, I mean, um, over the past, uh, like since 2016 until now, uh, we have been progressing um, nicely, although with many challenges, but it's progressing nicely. But it's uh, December uh, last year that we kind of like, being backtracked <laughs> um, to to like <laughs> almost ten years ago, so it's 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 very sad. Yeah. Yes, totally, totally. Uh, echo what you have just said, and uh, let us hope that um, you know sanity prevails and uh, Thailand uh, government acts very very fast and urgently and uh, to resolve these issues. And uh, 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 th this is such a great example, you know, like how Thailand has has rolled out PrEP and other countries should have followed. But, um, and um, you're very right at that the UNHCRCB PCB, Thailand government uh, was uh, sh showcased the community-led interventions in Chiang Mai and uh, I saw all those social media posts by UNH and stuff. So mm -hmm. let us hope all power to you all, all our solidarity. Anything else which you would like to add? Um, I feel that, um, um, yes, I, I mean, uh, we may need to uh, um, ask for um, the, like, with this soli solidarity um, in the HIV field, and it's it's probably not only limited to HIV right now. I, I, I we, we, we now know that um, community-led responses is a key uh, to any pandemic um, management, right? Um, so um, let's as let's hope um, that the example of HIV can be um, an HIV together with COVID nineteen you know, can 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 be used um, to address uh, many other health conditions um, in the near future like um, tuberculosis and mental health um, substance use you know and and so we are so ready to move forward. <laughs> to expand, extend uh, what we have learned from HIV and COVID nineteen to to other health conditions, and so so let's hope that um um there will be no um political um um sanctions, no uh, challenges, uh that that can result in this like backtracking of the progress that we have been uh, making, and let's hope that um the gov government official um government officials here in thailand at least um will become um, stronger and stronger in um their effort to 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 stick to the um best benefit of individuals in the country uh instead of um um being um uh, challenged um, too often by um, these political or bureaucratic um, um, sanctions. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Totally, Eko, totally support. Totally, we are with you, Dr. Nataya, and all the comrades in Thailand. Uh, you know, and you are so right. Like the lessons, the uh, which you have demonstrated that it is possible. 
for people to communities, the key populations to to shape these programs and how it's a, such a wonderful example. And let us hope that these gains are not lost and quick action happens. And other and also it influences other responses like you're so right on TB, on 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 hepatitis, on COVID. So many and so true. So all the best. Thank you so much again for speaking <laughs> to us, you. Dr. Nitaya. My my heartfelt uh, regards to you. Uh, since you uh, not only for accommodating some problems regarding internet and stuff and that too on a Sunday so uh, uh, <laughs> all power to you all thank yeah. you thank you Dr. thank you thank, thank you, you very much Bobby yep. see you yeah. at some point thank you, thank you. see you. Thank, you thank you